For today's tutorial, I am going to discuss about the resultant or how to get the resultant of a trapezoidal load. So our problem number one is to find the magnitude and the position of the resultant in this figure. So we have a trapezoidal load and a simple load which is 100 pounds. And then we are going to find the magnitude first. So ang unang-unang gagawin natin ay kukunin natin ang resultant gamit ang formula of na summation of forces. So for R, gagamitin natin ang area ng trapezoid ang formula ng area ng trapezoid which is 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times the height. And then, minus 100 because pababa ang ating force na 100 pounds. Now, substitute natin itong mga value na to base dito sa given fig value sa given figure. Now, for 1 half is equals to ang B sub 1 natin ay ang 500. Negative 500 siya kasi pababa pa rin naman ang force. And then, ang B2 natin, which is 420 pounds, times the height, which is the 9 inches, minus 100 ang ating simple load or yung 100 pounds. Now, for R, pag ikakalculate natin lahat, lalabas na negative 4,240 pounds. So, ito na ngayon ang magnitude ng ating resultant. Which means na ang ating resultant ay going down. Kasi negative siya. Meron tayong ibang way on how to solve the magnitude of a resultant. For example, itong ating figure. Since trapezoid to, so, pag ikakat natin to from here until the end, kung hanggang end ng force na to, so mga pa ganyan, lalabas na meron tayong isang triangular load at saka isang uniform load. Pag sa trapezoid lang yan, sa trapezoid lang yan meron. Ibig sabihin nun, pwede nating paghiwalayin yung dalawa, yung triangular pati ang uniform. So, kapag kukunin natin ang resultant gamit ang triangular pati ang uniform load na, par na way, so, magiging 0.5 for, tra for triangular muna unahin natin. 0.5 minus 80. Minus 80 kasi this one is 420. And kabuoan ng ating trapezoidal load is 500. So, for 500 minus 420 meaning this one will be 80. 80 yan siya. Negative siya since it's going down. So, lagyan natin ng ganyang arrow. So, it's a triangular load. And then, for its base, which is 9, 9 inches, and then, plus, sa ating, ano naman, uniform load, itong uniform load natin, ang ha, which ang, ang taas niya is 420, so negative 420, times 9, and then, ang ating isang load, which is the, Plus, negative 100 since pababa din. All going down. So, ang R natin ngayon, pag ikakalculate natin lahat, pareho pa rin ang lalabas, which is the negative 4,240 pounds going down. So, same pa rin ang ating answer for the magnitude of the resultant. So, advice ko lang, mas maganda na alam nyo kung paano gawin yung ganito para pag sa moment, hindi tayo mahihirapan. Kasi pag buong trapezoid ang kinonsider nyo, hindi nyo hinati. Mas mahirapan kayo kapag mag-solve na kayo for moment equation. So, meron na tayong magnitude ng resultant. Hanapin naman natin kung saan siya makikita dito sa ating, sa ating given beam. So, kakalculate muna natin ang ating moment. Now, for summation moment, magmo-moment ako dito sa ating A. Supposed to be this is A and this is B. Dito kasi, mas malapit yung trapezoidal load dito sa ating support na A. So, mas mapapadali ang ating pagsosolve. Now, for summation moment A, which is equal to summation of all forces times its moment arm. Okay, assuming all clockwise will be positive and then all counterclockwise will be negative. So, ako lang yung nag-assume pero it depends kung anong gusto nyo. Pero mas maganda talaga kapag ganito yung assume nyo for the, your solution. Now, for summation moment A, 
Dito tayo magmo-moment sa A. Ang i-consider ko muna, di ba ginawa natin kanina, isinati natin to into two, kind two types of force, which is the triangular load and the uniform load. Now, yun pa rin ang gagamitin ko. Ihahati ko siya para mas mapadali yung pag-solve natin. Pero, i-consider ko muna ang triangular load. So, for, other, for triangular load, 0.5 times 80 since 80 to dito and then pababa this one our uniform load will be 420 500 minus 420 80 now bakit siya 80 kasi ang ikot ng ating load is pa ganyan pa ganito from here to here pa ganyan oh. so which is positive clockwise kaya ang 80 natin ngayon ay positive now 9 for its length and then one third of its distance or its length. Kasi dito tayo nag-moment sa pinaka-tip talaga ng ating triangular load. Kaya, one third ang gagamitin natin. So, since 9 to, so one third of the 9. Now, for, ano naman, for, at, for the uniform load plus, uh, ang uniform load natin ay 420 times 9 times 1 half of its length. So, since ang length natin ay 9, so 9 over 2. Now, for ang 100 naman, positive 100, since ang ikot ng 100 ay same lang, kasi pag ganyan din naman, papuntang A. So, pag ikot siya papuntang A, it's considered as clockwise. Now, it's positive. So, ang, ang kanyang moment arm, kung, hanggang, kung nasan siya, hanggang kung saan tayo nag-moment, which is 3 plus 9. Kaya, 12 ang kanyang moment arm. So, 100 times 12. Now, for our summation moment A, ikakalculate natin itong lahat. Lalabas siya na 19,290 pounds inch. So, don't forget our unit, which is pounds and inch. Now, meron na tayong moment for this figure. Hanapin na lang natin ngayon ang location ng ating resultant. Now, let's solve for the position of the resultant sa ating given beam. So, summation moment at A, since sa A tayo nag-moment, and then the resultant times its moment arm. Now, ang summation moment A natin, meron na tayong value, which is 19,290 pounds, equals to our resultant, which is 4,240 pounds times its distance. So, yung distance na yan, yan yung position ng resultant, o yung layo niya sa ating kung saan tayo nag-moment. Nakapag i-calculate natin to, ang D natin ay lalabas na 4.55 inches. Meaning, kung saan tayo nag-moment, hanggang sa 4.55 inches, doon natin mahanap ang ating resultant. So, sa A tayo nag-moment, ibig sabihin, mag-account tayo hanggang 4.55. So, let's estimate, siguro mga dito, dito, Let's put it here. Mga ganyan. Assuming here, assuming from here sa support kung saan tayo nag-moment hanggang sa resultant ay 4.55 inches with a magnitude of 4,240 pounds. So, yan ang ating resultant for this figure. So, for our number 2 problem and also the last problem, Solve the magnitude of the resultant, its position, and the moment at P. So, same pa rin sa first problem natin, pero ang kaibahan lang dito ay isosolve natin ang moment dito sa point P or sa part ng P, which is 2 inches from the hinge. Now, for our resultant, kukunin na natin yung resultant, R is equals to, mas maganda kapag talagang ihahati mo ito into 2 types of load which is a triangular and a uniform load. So, pag ikakahati natin or ikakat natin to dito, meron na tayong triangle, triangular load pati uniform load. Now, for our uniform load, since ang taas nito ay 250 yung force, so yung minus natin, 650 minus 250, ibig sabihin, ang bagong magnitude ng ating uh, triangular load ay I 400. So, ito na ngayon for our triangular load. 400. Ito dito. Ang 650, ang meaning ng 650 is ang buong trapezoidal height 
ang isang base dito na 650 ng buong base niya. Now for the resultant, unahin muna natin ang ating triangular load which is 0.5 times the negative 400. Negative to siyang lahat ang force kasi going down and then times its length which is 12 kasi 10 plus 2, 12 and then plus ang ating uniform load 250 times ang haba naman niya same pa rin is 12 so I forgot to put here negative ang ating 250 so negative so negative ang ating 250 times 12 ang ating resultant ngayon ay equals to negative 5,400 pounds so, yan na. It means also na going down ang ating resultant. Meron na tayong magnitude ng resultant which is 5,400 pounds. Now, para mahanap naman natin yung position ng ating resultant sa ating beam, kunin muna natin ang ating moment. So, summation moment at B. Assuming sabi tayo magmo-moment kasi mas mapapadali kasi nandito yung pinakatip ng ating trapezoid. So, sabi, summation of our four of forces and times the distance then assuming all clockwise will be positive and then counterclockwise will be negative and for summation moment B unahin muna natin ulit ang ating triangular load yung 400 pounds so 0 0.5 so 400 yung ano yung force natin pero ang ikot ng ating force Paganyan, kasi sabi man tayo nag magmo-moment. So, ang ikot ng force ay paganito. So, paganyan. Which is a counterclockwise. So, counterclockwise means negative. Yun yung assuming, assume natin dito sa ating problem. So, ang ating 400 ay negative pounds. And then, times its length, which is 12 inches. And then, times its moment arm, which is 1 third of 12. And then, for our uniform load, which is 250, 250 ang haba, ang, kung gano siya kataas, and 250 will be negative. Kasi ang ikot naman niya ay same din sa ikot ng ating triangular load, pag ganito. So, it's a counterclockwise, so negative. So, negative 250 pounds. And it's length, which is 12 inches, yung haba niya. And then, for... Its moment arm equals to 12 divided by 2 or 1 half of 12. Okay, ganito, na nilagay ko. ganito na lang nilagay ko. So, 12 divided by 2. Now, for our summation moment at B, pag i-calculate natin, ang ating answer ay negative 27,600 pounds inch. So, same pa rin sa first problem natin. Nakuha na natin ang ating moment. So, pwede natin kunin ang position ng resultant sa ating given figure. Now, to find the location of the resultant, gagamitin natin again ang ating formula kanina sa number 1, sa ating number 1 problem. So, summation moment B ang gagamitin natin kasi sa B tayo nag-moment and then yun din ang ginamit natin kanina. And then, the resultant times its distance. Now, D ang unknown dito sa ating given problem. For summation moment B, Substitute lang, 27,600 is equals to 5,400 times the D. Now, pag i-input natin to sa calculator, the D will be equals to 5.11 inches. Ibig sabihin, makikita natin ang ating moment arm kung saan tayo nag-moment hanggang sa 5.11 inches. Now, pag base dito sa ating figure, sabi tayo nag-moment, so magka-count lang tayo hanggang 5.11 inches. Probably, sa gitna or dito, probably here, magkikita natin ang ating resultant na may magnitude na 5,400 pounds going down. So, yan na ang ating answer for the problem of mag the magnitude of the resultant in its position. Ang next naman, na, naman natin na isosolve, which is ang moment at P. So, hanapin natin kung ano yung moment at P. So, another solution naman yun. 
So, meron ako ditong free body diagram to find the moment at P para mas mapabilis ang ating solution. Hiniwalay ko siya or in-isolate ko siya. Kinuha ko lang yung ating resultant which is 5,400 pounds and then 5.11 ang kanyang distance from moment from B which is yung sinolve natin kanina 5.11 so since 10 yung distance from B to P which is 10 so 5.11 10 minus 5.11 equals to 4.89 and then the two in, another 2 inches naman for from P to A so bakit ko in-isolate ang ating resultant which is 5,400 sa ating originally given forces or the loads in-isolate ko siya kasi ang actually ang resultant ay ang combination of all the given forces. So, hindi natin kailangan pang isolve ulit. Kasi sinold na natin, inad na natin lahat ng forces na triangular pati ang ating uniform load. So, we have already the 5,400. So, yun na lang ang gagamitin natin to solve for P para hindi na mahirapan, para mas madali na lang ating solution. Now, for summation moment at P, sa P tayo ngayon magmo-moment dito, this one, this point here. Summation moment at P, the 5,400, ang ikot ng 5,400 pounds ay pag ganito, which means positive. So, hindi ko nalagay, assuming all positive will be clockwise, and then for counterclockwise will be negative. Now, for summation moment at P, kasi ganyan ang ikot ng 5,400 hanggang sa P, pag ganyan, so clockwise, it means 5,400 pounds is positive times its moment arm which is 4.89 yan 4.89 inches na kapag ikakalculate natin o i-multiply natin makukuha natin ang answer na 26,406 pounds inch so ito na ngayon ang ating hinahanap na moment at P so, pag ganito mga problem na hinahanap ang moment at a certain point, kapag uh, parallel forces ang given, mas maganda kapag nakuha nyo na ang resultant, yun na lang ang gagamitin nyo to solve for yung moment na hinahanap nyo. So, meron na tayo kanina, meron na tayong magnitude and the position ng ating resultant, which is 5.11. And meron na din tayong moment at P, which is 26,406 pounds inch. Now, Sana may natutunan kayo for today's tutorial. If you have any questions about this topic, you can comment below and I'll try my best to answer all of your questions. So thank you for watching.